Yesterday, we traveled from Prague to another big city in the Czech Republic called Brno. Now that was one of our smoothest travel days yet. We hopped on a subway to the bus station, waited for our bus, hopped onto our bus and arrived here. <laughs> we had looked up quite a few cool things to do in Brno, but unfortunately, the day that we chose to come and visit, everything was closed. So if you ever decide to come and visit the city, just make sure you don't come on a Monday. So we decided to change our plans and just wander around the city, try out a couple more Czech pastries and foods. We even tried the Czech version of Coca-Cola. That's really good. I think that's way better than Coke. So today we are traveling from Bruno to a little town in the villages called Novi Rosenkov. Now there's a number of buses that we need to catch today, maybe three or four, I don't even really know. So that just shows that today could be quite challenging. We just made it to our first little bus stop for the day. This is number 14. I won't tell you what the name of the place that we're trying to get to is because I don't even know how to begin to read it. <laughs> now we need to figure out how to buy tickets. Just spoke to some friendly locals and apparently we need to buy the tickets on the bus. Which is great. Because we didn't pre-book these ones. I'm actually pretty glad that the place that we're at now is an actual bus stop. I honestly thought that we were just gonna rock up on like the side of the road and wait for a little minibus almost to come and find us or pick us up and then that was gonna be another problem to like find the correct minibus but here it's got platforms, it's got bus numbers, it's got times for them to arrive. This is a very good start to the day. Made it to the first place. I think that's our bus over there. Yeah? Already? Okay, so unfortunately we just missed that bus. It pulled off as we got here, but it's okay. There's another one coming in an hour, so we just have one hour to wait. But it is freezing! It is currently 12 degrees, but it says it feels like 11. And it's the wind. Oh, the wind is so cold. I hope we can survive this hour. <laughs> <laughs> All the dramatic. <laughs> I was almost frozen. Let's get on it. The only thing we're really worried about is just having enough space for our bags, really. We've got a lot. <laughs> Out of that. How have we made it here? I don't know. <laughs> what is it? But the buses have been so good yeah. and so easy to use. Oh, I'm very proud of this. We're not there yet, but we're close. Okay, so we need to walk for 300 meters and then we are catching a train. That's fun. I always enjoy a train journey. That's where they end off today. This whole journey is only supposed to take two hours by car. We've been going for five already. It just shows you like the hours that 
now is that public transport adds yeah. on. We're not even there yet. is hands down the easiest country that we've ever been had to use public transport in in our entire travels. It used to be Georgia, but it is now Czech Republic. That was ridiculous. We literally did the whole journey on Google Maps. Like we didn't even use a transport app or anything. It's literally just Google Maps. I'm so proud of that. I can't, I can't believe it. Thanks for bringing us here. <laughs> Hello, village life in Czech Republic. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. It helps us out a lot. Subscribe and join us for our last few ventures in the Czech Republic, and then on to the next country that we'll be heading to. And we'll see you guys back in the next video. Ha <laughs> ha